Hello everyone, Randy here. We're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Snatterton's Farm. And we're pretty much picking up where we left off from last episode. Continuing to chop field nine here. Got the uh, small toe behind Massey Ferguson chopper. Uh, currently pulling a John Deere forage wagon. Got it, uh, what do we got? Yeah, it's third full here so, so far. But it doesn't look like we're getting a whole lot off of this field. Now, I did have one issue here. I was unable to load the save game here. Uh, something to do with a chopped straw, it appears. I don't know why. Uh, if it's because this is producing chopped, uh, technically kind of corn, and not really chopped straw here, but, uh, and maybe it's not supposed to be. I don't know. But uh, just an FYI for anybody out there playing with a chopped straw mod. I was unable to load the save game here. Um, I tried adding the H&S chopper box into the game. I thought at first it might be that, so I took that out. Uh, the game still did not load. And then, you know, I was looking at the uh, log here. It's like, well, oh, chopped straw. Okay. So it was uh, it was sitting on chopped straw. They're loading chopped straw, and it wasn't going any farther. I left it go for like uh, two or three minutes. Uh, still wasn't loading. I went ahead and took the uh, chopped straw mod out game loaded right up so something with a chop straw and it must have something to do with this field here um, I don't know what or why but uh, it must have something to do with it again you can kind of see the difference there on the uh, right there we got what's left from the chop straw and you can see the new stuff here now we're not getting any chopped straw again technically not chopped straw with you know this but uh, anyway I don't know why it's uh, why that was a problem but Using the uh, John Deere 4440 here. We got the 4430 on the outside of the field there. I've been using that to pull the forage wagons with. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish this uh, field this episode. Oh, which reminds me uh, do any fields need to be fertilized here? Yeah, you did the derpy turnaround, it looks like, didn't you? Maybe fix you a moment. Uh, so, so much for the update from a farming simulator. Supposedly, I thought. Fixing this issue. Well, if I could did. He knows. No, nope, seriously? Really? No, 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 no. You know. Why is he turning around? Then he quits. No. I'm telling you, uh, hired workers in this game are exercising patience at times with how annoying they can be. I think he's finally going and should finish by himself there. I think that was the last field too, right? Now yeah, field's five. I think we need to wait a growth stage in all the rest of the fields here. Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, this field, can we uh, do that field here? Uh, we might be able to. Yes, looks like that can be fertilized. Okay, let's uh, let me get a tired worker going on that here moment. In fact, I could probably leave you right where you are. Will you pick up? I know. You will. Excellent. We'll leave him to it then. I'm sure he won't stay on it. We'll have to, you know, go fix him at some point, but eh, oh well. And as uh, many of you pointed out, yes, the uh, piece on top of the uh, chute here is upside down. I don't know why. Uh, very weird. I don't know if possibly resetting this thing would fix that or not. Kind of odd, too. Uh, the Massey Ferguson pack here has been pretty good. I uh, just noticed that here with that being upside down, so it's kind of weird. Obviously, we used the other one there for uh, Windrose, and I don't uh, recall that one being upside down, so. I suppose we can always try uh, folding the pipe in and folding the back out again, see what's what happens, maybe. Nope, still upside down. Okay. Oh, well. Not going to worry about it too much.
Uh, let's see, a little over half full here. Might have to grab maybe another... Uh, probably one more forage wagon after this might do it. We could go empty the two we have to, I suppose. But uh, yeah, like I was mentioning there when I started the episode, I did get the H&S forage wagon. I wanted to try that one as well. I'm sure they're probably all the same model, just uh, different uh, textures on the outside. But I uh, thought I would grab that one. But um, like I said, I ended up deactivating and getting rid of that one because I thought maybe that was the issue. I don't think it was now. Pretty sure it was just the uh, top straw mod for some reason. And again, I don't know if it's just because uh, something with the corn here isn't supported for the chop straw. I'm not really sure. Or something with this uh, chopper it doesn't like. It is kind of weird that it is actually putting chopped straw down. Because uh, technically when you're chopping corn like this, there really isn't anything. Everything is chopped. So, you know, everything that's going into the chopper here is chopped. There's no excess, you know, that's left behind really. Other than maybe, you know, what's spilled, but... And that's always been one of my complaints about the uh, texture of harvested corn in this game as well. You know, this is what a chopped field would look like, minus the kind of the bit on the left-hand side there. But uh, if you were to shell the corn, the, you know, the harvested corn field looks much, much different. And I'll we'll probably just uh, throw this in the uh, fermenting silo here, by the way. At least that's my plan with it. And we'll uh, read a few comments here a moment. Uh, TJ was asking, on Oklahoma, did you do a corn harvest video of the 9230? Yes, I'm pretty sure there is. In fact, there's probably a couple uh, videos on harvesting corn with the uh, 9230 there. That'd be the case combine on uh, Oklahoma. And in fact, I'm sure there's probably a video with several case combines running at one time harvesting corn. Oh, and we are full. Uh, let's see what's there. Shall we, uh, shall we go ahead and empty these? I guess we can. I know somebody asked if I could wait for to uh, finish the warm up, but uh, I don't think we want to bother uh, taking the time during the episode to do that. Okay, should we haul it one at a time, or shall we try to connect them? Yeah, we can try connecting them here. Why not, right? I see we got some sticking out of the top. Uh, for those of you who have ever seen the uh, in real life, by the way, it's almost kind of realistic that way. Um, I know it's just actually the texture inside is showing through, and that's not right. But, uh, yeah, if you ever see these uh, chopper boxes in real life, they almost still look that way sometimes by the time they're done being filled from the uh, chopper. They're blowing some on top of it. There we go. That actually wasn't too bad. Funny, the, uh, John, oh, the John Deere has just a little bit right there. Must be just the way the uh, box is filled from the chopper, I guess. Depending on how much is sticking out. Like I said, I'm fairly certain these are all the same, just uh, different textures. So I'd assume the uh, fill plane inside of them all is exactly the same as well. Also, I keep getting a couple comments every now and then about the uh, gates on various maps, especially uh, Snatterton's here. Uh, if you're having problems with the gates after updating, uh, there is a mod out there to fix that. 
And I have a link to it in the mod list there. It is in the uh, the scripts section. I think it's the very last one in the uh, script section, which is at the very top of the mod list there, by the way. So is there, there is a door fix mod. And that'll uh, fix the doors on all the maps that have gates like what Snatterton's has here. So again, uh, with the 151 update to Farming Simulator here, it broke the gates on this map, as well as any other map that has the style of gates that this map has on it. Now, again, I don't know what uh, what maps all have this uh, particular style, but all the maps that do it broke the gates on those. And like I said, there's a simple mod fix for that. Just uh, drop it in your mod folder, activate it, and that should fix the gates. Um, there's also a way to fix it in the XML, actually the Lua files as well. You gotta remove the uh, the Lua, there's a line for the doors, and you gotta remove that line. That might be a little bit uh, complicated for some of you, so yeah, just throw the mod fix in, that should, uh, should be easier for you. That's what I'm using here as well. Uh, Techie was saying, nice video, thank you very much for that. Uh, Brandon was saying we have a green truck like that uh, truck there. And we also have a gravity wagons hooked up to it. Interesting. And also have a Peterbilt truck and Wilson grain trailer. Uh, talking about the uh, GMC truck there, by the way, the GMC dump truck. Did you pull a gravity wagon behind that? Interesting. I've never actually seen that before. Okay, back to the field here. Upper Curly has completed. I wonder which one that is. And I don't see one going down on field 32. Looks like he might have actually finished. I'd be rather surprised if he did. That'd definitely be a good thing. We'll have to check the map there and see if he actually did complete the whole field. Leave one there, and we'll pull the other one around to the other side here. Okay. Back in business here. And yeah, hopefully we can uh, finish chopping this uh, field here by the end of the episode. Should be really close anyway if we can't quite finish. Probably just uh, finish it up off screen. And we'll see what we might do some more of this at some point as well. I have no intentions, by the way, of getting a large chopper in the Snetterton save game here. So for those of you maybe want to see a large chopper, I, I don't really plan to do that. Just uh, thought it'd be fun to try out this uh, tool behind Massey Ferguson chopper. And then we also have the uh, corn picker, I'm assuming it is. At least I'm assuming it's a picker, corn picker. Hopefully uh, try that out as well at some point. Uh, we got both fields two and three there, I believe, planted in corn. So we'll see how the corn picker works. Uh, if it doesn't work at all, we'll probably just end up chopping those fields like we did here. Obviously, probably rather not want to use this on a large field. That might be rather time-consuming, but... Austin was saying, I've been playing since FS13. Never had a problem like this before. Uh, when I go to save my game, it uh, says the map could not be saved. I went uh, quit the game and tried to reload. 
and only to find the save game has been deleted. It is rather interesting, I'll have to say. I can't really say I've heard of it being deleted before. Uh, says wondering if I've experienced that problem. I, yeah, don't think I have. Says I know it's not a mod conflict because I removed all my mods. Um, okay, so if you removed all your mods, I'm assuming you're playing on one of the base maps then, either Sosnovka or Goldcrest. Uh, if it is still doing that, I would probably suggest you reinstall your game. That would be the best suggestion I can offer. Uh, if you had mods, though, then uh, most likely I would suggest mod problem, mod conflict of some sorts. But, uh, yes, like I said, if you removed all your mods, then it's probably something wrong with the game, maybe. And just uh, reinstall it. That should fix it. And uh, with that as well, keep in mind, uh, Farming Simulator does create save game backups automatically. Uh, surprised at how many people do not realize that, but uh, Farming Simulator actually automatically backs up the save games for you. Uh, you just got to go to the save game backup folder, and you can... Uh, I don't know how many copies, again, it creates. It's probably like 10 copies or so. So every so often it creates a copy, you know, deletes out the oldest one and creates a new one. But uh, you can get your save game back most likely. Got to go to the save game backup folder, pull it out of there, and put it into the, uh, you know, the save game folder it's supposed to be in. And your save game will be back. And like I said, surprised at how many people did not realize that. Uh, Angus was also saying, having the same problem, only I cannot uh, control vehicles, and my owned items all disappear. Again, that definitely sounds like a mod conflict. That one definitely sounds like a mod conflict, anyway, I should say. Delta was saying, keep it up. Uh, thank you very much for that. Model Goo was saying, I need help. When I put my Corn Belt mod into the mod folder, nothing shows up. Uh, I'd suggest maybe double check and make sure that mod is not to be extracted. A lot of times that's what it'll be. Uh, again, uh, amazing uh, the number of people that uh, skip one little simple step there that'll kind of help alleviate some of that issue. Uh, when you download the mod, open it up and make sure you see the mod descript file on there. If you don't, uh, Either there's something wrong, or maybe you need to extract it further. Again, a lot of mod authors, you know, they'll put that on the end, you know, extract or unzip or something like that on the end usually, but not all mod authors are that uh, good about that, so something to watch for. Kentucky Farmer was saying, I'm glad you're changing maps. The Corn Belt map is too big. Uh, Nick was saying you should get rid of the Coon Pack on server 3. Uh, which is a reminder there, by the way, we do play with the uh, DLCs. Uh, usually we'll have them active on one server or so at a time. Uh, server 1, by the way, has the Big Bud DLC active at the moment. Uh, server 2 does not have any DLCs active. And then Server 3 has the Coon DLC active again for the uh, Bale Wrapper. Kind of the one reason to use that mod. Uh, Tyler was saying you should harvest corn at 4 to 5 miles an hour. Which, uh, yes, on Corn Belt there, we're harvesting at 16 miles an hour. A little bit quick. But again, given the size of that field, definitely need something that's a little bit uh, quicker, I would argue. Uh, hey, I was asking, do, you, do I know why the IH Old Iron Pack is not available anymore? I do not. Uh, in fact, none of the Old Iron Packs are available anymore. No idea. Uh, Rachel saying this is the best. Uh, thank you very much for that.
Uh, Jetty Mastro saying I should have a single player series with Seasons mod. Well, if you're watching the uh, Snattertons series, this is the Seasons mod. We are playing with a Seasons mod on this uh, map. I don't think I maybe mentioned that in a while here that I am playing with a Seasons mod, but we are playing with a Seasons mod in case it wasn't evident. And uh, depending on what map we do next, we might uh, go with the Seasons mod again. I do rather like the Seasons mod. Obviously, it kind of does group up, you know, the harvesting and planting. So kind of all the planting happens at once, you know, then all the harvesting. And, you know, then through the summer, we do a lot of grass work. You know, mowing and hay and whatnot, but... You know, of, kind of, of some of the more realistic uh, mods, I guess you could want to call on that so far uh, the seasons mod is probably one of my favorite and uh, by realistic mods I'm kind of thinking like you know like soil mod and uh, stuff like that I think the uh, seasons mod here's so far been one of my favorite mods for adding again more realism I guess if you want to call that to the game here Uh, William was asking, why don't you modify the files for the combines and then increase the capacity and unload speed like uh, Puma Plow does? Uh, again, that's because I typically try to play a little more realistically. And as a result, don't increase the <laughs> capacity of combines or other nonsense like that. Also, you know, don't use ridiculously large equipment. Unless, of course, it's realistic. So, you know, again, no 50-meter seeders. You know, again, my argument with that's always been, okay, well, if you're going to increase the capacity, you know, why stop at 100,000? Why not just go to a million, two million? So again, just kind of stick with the uh, realistic actual capacity for... Ooh. There we go. We, you know, realistic capacity, realistic size for the mod. Okay, last little bit. Here's not much left. Like maybe three more rows here, I'm guessing. Ooh, gonna make the turn. Did yeah, just. Yeah, the turns are definitely getting a little tighter now here, that's for sure. Oh, might be. Uh, I think there's two more rows yet. Yeah, it's close. It looks like it might just be one, but I think it's two more. LaRonda was saying, can you use an 806? Uh, I think that's actually what we have by the pigs here is an 806, isn't it? Let's see what's here. Which one do I have by the pigs here again? Speaking of pigs, they probably need to be... Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, it is an 806. Yes, so I actually am using an 806. Oh, well, for the pigs, so I'm not really using much for farming-wise for it, but we do have an 806. Oh, self, need to get a toolbox over here so I can repair this, uh, do the maintenance for this tractor. Nope. Eh, pigs are clean again. They should be happy for a little while. Oh, uh, that's a good singing voice was saying. Do you have the follow me mod? Yes, I do. Again, I don't use it very often or for very much, but um, I do have it. And it you know, comes in handy when you're bringing a bunch of equipment to a field. That's about really the only thing I use it for. Uh, 
Uh, John Deere 8520 was saying the uh, Case Quad Track is heavier than the Big Bud. Uh, I very much doubt that. Uh, I don't know right off the top of my head what the uh, numbers are for, you know, Big Bud versus uh, Case Quad Track, but I very, very much doubt that the uh, Case Quad Track is heavier than a Big Bud. This actually shows it's getting it all. Interesting. Would have thought there'd been one more row after this. There actually might be two. Uh, JC Game was asking for a shout out. Uh, Muscle Man was saying, "When Giants means a fix, they actually mean they break it." Right? Apparently. Uh, Curtis was saying H&S is the uh, brand of the four age wagons you're missing. Yes. And uh, thanks for those of you that commented on that. I didn't figure that out. And uh, like I said, I did put it in the game, and I was planning on using it here. But uh, given the fact it was, uh, wasn't really working, or the game wasn't loading, I thought maybe that was the uh, problem, but it wasn't. Okay, so it did actually harvest it all. Okay, cool. Yes, it actually did. That is it. Uh, small third in the this uh, wang in here. Hey, and look at that. We uh, finished up uh, before the episode is finished. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and put this away here then a minute. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to reset that. See if that fixes the, uh, the shoot there. I don't know. If anybody else has this, let me know. Is your... Uh, your chopper doing the same thing, or is there just something wrong with mine here? Like I said, I'm going to see once if I reset it, if that fixes it. See what's what we got over here. Uh, it might be normal from the looks of it here. Nope, it is upside down. Okay, never mind. Still upside down. Weird. I'll have to try to remember to ask uh, Thomas uh, my console next time I see him <laughs> what his is on the uh, console is like. Because the, uh, the console, by the way, has the same uh, Massey Ferguson pack, so I've been kind of curious to know if his is upside down, too. I would almost think it would have to be, because I would assume it would be the same, uh, same one, I would think. One uh, dirty John Deere, 44-40. Okay, let's uh, pick up these two wagons. We'll uh, get them emptied, and then we'll have to uh, wrap it up for the episode. That's why going to be to uh, connect these here, I wonder. Close enough. Wow, we're not off by much, but uh, I guess it's enough it don't count, does it? Oh, well. All right, again. Too far the other way? Really? 
Wow, that's... That looks like it's really close. Okay. Ah, there we go. That's got to be close enough. It is. Perfect. And we'll get these unloaded in the uh, fermenting silo there. And with that, folks, I think we'll uh, wrap up the video here. Again, if folks have any other comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.